The rain was forecast, the Met Service had said it would be bad, and Edgecombe has had serious flooding before. But when the water came, it did so very fast, and it did so, so fast that even a town that had been warned and knew what it could be like was caught out by the speed of the water and by how very much of it there was. Jet boats and Defence Force Unimogs were used to rescue people and pets as water flooded into the Bay of Plenty town, turning the streets into rivers. 1,600 Edgecombe residents, basically the entire population, have been evacuated, along with people from Teteko and rural communities on both the Rangitaiki and Fakatani rivers. Much of the Bay of Plenty town is still underwater tonight. People will not be going back to their homes in a hurry, and we're just going to bring up our reporter, Zach Fleming, now. And I think if you are watching, you will understand why people aren't going back to their homes, Zach, because there is just water everywhere behind you and it is running through the house behind you, obviously. What's going on there? Well, John, we're on College Road, which is the road that runs alongside the stop bank by the river, exactly right where the stop bank broke. And as you said, the streets here are rivers. The houses behind me are, some of them, right next to the river, under two, maybe even three metres of water. As you said, though, no residents are coming back. I actually just spoke to one man who snuck through one of the cordons. His name's Simon. He lives at number 44. Just couldn't help himself. He was in Huntley when the flooding happened and wanted to come back and see for himself what it was like. He came back and took a couple of, took a couple of photos. He was trying to be positive about it, but at the moment his driveway is akin to a river more than his home. He, he said that uh, he was told by uh, Civil Defence that he'd be able to go back in around 72 hours, but he stood there, looked around, looked at me and said that's absolutely not going to happen. He doesn't believe there's any way he's going to be back here for se in 72 hours. He thinks it's going to be more like a week. As you said, uh, boats are going around to ferry people to their houses or take people out of their houses. This is just absolutely flooded. Thanks, Zach. Zach Fleming now, uh, cameraman Bradley White, live from the scene.